Are you prepared to make rituals with flesh? Then biomancy is your mod. I like you guys and welcome to today's showcase. Biomancy is a forge mod for the latest version and yeah, without further ado, let's start. To start, you will firstly need a bone cleaver. This will give you extra drops when killing animals. Most common drops are the sharp fang, sharp claw, sinew, bone marrow, withered bone marrow, bile gland, toxic gland and volatile gland. The first machinery that the player needs is the Prime Ordinal Crater, crafted with a few vanilla ingredients. It resembles a cauldron that can be fed to fill it up. A player can feed it raw meat. To finish this bloody ritual, fill it up with health potions. A hint, the eye will indicate how much potion it already has. Then it will summon the flesh blob. After you fed it, you can kill it to obtain living flesh. However, if you continue to feed it, it will grow larger and larger until it's three blocks tall. If specific items are used, two other entities can be summoned instead. For a hungry flesh blob, you can add spider eyes, withered bone marrow or claws to increase the likeliness of getting a hungry flesh blob. This one will be hungrier, thus speeding up the growth. However, it won't be as friendly. If a malignant flesh blob is killed, the block below will be covered in malignant flesh veins. These mobs will also attack the passive and hungry flesh blobs and players and try to kill them. These flesh veins are also generated by the cradle if you mainly use rotten flesh. This will slowly spread over the landscape. The item living flesh that flesh blobs drop will allow the player to assemble two new machineries, the Bioforge and the Decomposer. The latter will take apart items in exchange for some flesh. This is a very crucial process as it unlocks a lot of new items needed to progress further such as bone fragments, elastic fibers, toxin extract, bile, etc. You can view the source of an item with JI. The Bioforge is an advanced crafting table focused around the Biomancy mod. Bioforge. Not only does it allow you to craft various decoration blocks made from flesh, including doors, fences, chests or ladders, but it even unlocks more equipment. And players can craft normal vanilla items such as skewts, bones or string with it. This also must be powered with flesh. Some of the most interesting blocks are the fleshkin chest that will stick out its tongue when you open it. The pressure plate that can be toggled whether it only reacts to its owner or to all players. The storage sack is a cheap alternative to a shulker box which will display its content when hovering over it. Defend your base with bone spikes and impale any enemies with it. There's also a new banner pattern. Every 24 ticks, the tongue will extract three items from the storage behind it and drop them on the ground. The living long claws are a new weapon added by this mod. It needs to be fed meat by right-clicking on it with suitable food. When it doesn't receive any nutrients, the hand will stay in a dormant state, dealing out only 3 damage. When fed, the eye will open, being in an active state with 7 attack damage. The player can toggle it to become exalted, increasing the damage output to 11. Now you may also craft the exotic flesh mix, a food item for the cradle which then doesn't need any health potions anymore to be able to start the process. The bioalchemical fertilizer can speed up the growth of any crop, including cactus, sugarcane or netherwood. The more hopper, a better upgraded hopper, will transport 16 items at once. The digester will use flesh as fuel and any plant or food item to digest them. This creates nutrient paste. It is a powerful source of energy for all machines from this mod. You can compress it into bars to make it even more efficient or to eat it yourself. Biolab. Just like any other blocks, this also must be powered with some fleshy items or just nutrient paste. This machine is used to get different serums that have special abilities or need to be injected into entities. There are some crafting components that don't have any other use than to craft with them. These are healing, organic, genetic, exotic and corrosive. Unstable compound will explode when dropped. For the following you will need the bioinjector to be able to inject it into entities. Equip it and press V to use a compatible serum. Rejuvenate will turn the mob into its child version. Aging will do the opposite and speed up the growth. The enlargement serum will induce growth in slimes, magma cubes and flesh blobs. The opposite will again do the shrinking serum. For a short period of time, the breeding stimulant will make animals constantly breed. However, this will hurt the animals, making them run away. Keep that in mind. 
the absorption stimulant will grant four temporary hearts. One can even inject oneself with a shift click. With the Cleansin Serum, one can remove all effects, even the ones that won't vanish with milk. Lastly, the Insomnia Cure will reset the Insomnia Bar, meaning no phantoms will spawn and force you to go to sleep. That was today's video. If you ended up liking it, then maybe leave a like or even consider to subscribe. And we'll see us in the next video. Stay safe in game. Ciao.